Hi, Ukulele Mike here. I'm at last getting around to doing a video tutorial on the baritone ukulele. Baritone, not tenor, not concert, not soprano, but baritone. This is the largest of the four ukulele models. It's uh, more, more like a small guitar in some ways. The baritone ukulele is mellow, warm, it's got a great uh, solo sound as well as an ensemble sound with all of the other ranges of ukuleles. So let's get started with how to tune it. Here we go. Okay, my baritone uke is tuned to the standard baritone uke tuning. So we've got an E, a B, a G, and a low D. I'll do that very slowly. The first string, E. Second string, B. Third string, G. And finally, the fourth string, low D. Hi. The key difference between, and no pun intended, between the baritone ukulele and the standard concert, uh, tenor, soprano, all of the others, is the way it's tuned. The tuning is relatively the same between the four strings. It's just that it's lower. It's a lower tuning. Now, uh, you know, uh, the musical alphabet goes from A to G. And then it starts all over again. It's very short. A, B, C, D, E, F, G starts all over again. Now, in between those notes, you got half steps, which are, if you look on the piano, those are the black keys. That's where you have your flats and your sharps. But in simple, in simple words, there are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's only seven letters to the musical alphabet. Now, follow me on this. Let's take G. We'll start with G. We're going to count up five. So we start with G, then we go to A, because it starts all over again, then we go to B, then we go to C, and then we go to D. Now follow me with that again, starting with G, now go up to A, then B, C, D. All right, the standard ukulele's fourth string is tuned to G, the baritone is tuned to D. You see there are five steps there between the two? So G is the standard, D is the baritone. So when I play this chord on the baritone, now those of you who've played standard soprano, tenor, um, concert ukulele, that would be a G chord. But on the baritone it's called D. There are five steps between those. By the way, on the guitar that's also called a D. Baritone is essentially the first four strings of the guitar. The other two bottom bass strings are taken off. So it's, if you've played guitar, the, the chords are all the same. They, they feel all the same. So let's take another chord. We'll take C. Let's go up five steps again. C, D, E, F, and G. All right, now on the standard ukulele, the third string is C, but on the baritone, it is G. C, D, E, F, G. Okay? So, here we are C, and I'm going to play it on the stand. This would be how it would be on a standard, on a standard uh, ukulele. That would be a C. But on the baritone, it's a G. Okay? So, you can take, if you're a baritone player, you can take the chords of any song and you can reconfigure them for your own fingering by just going up five steps. Um, I am uh, going to be releasing my uh, companion ebook that goes with my um, Wonderful World of the Ukulele DVD. It's going to start containing a baritone chord chart for that reason. I've had a lot of people ask me about whether that uh, DVD is useful for them. And yes, it is. 
it uh, the the strumming is still the same uh, the rhythms are the same um, but all you have to do is you have to transpose the chords in the songs and most of the songs that are on the DVD are in that companion ebook so you can just go in and take the chord chart that will come with it um, from now on I'll include that baritone chord chart and you can transpose all those chords for the baritone uh, okay now this is just a first in my series of lessons on the baritone uke so we'll just cover a few subjects today besides tuning um, first of all, if you're going to be playing it for any length of time, and obviously if you're going to be standing up, you'll need a strap. And I just have a simple guitar strap. I had a little button put right here on the, uh, the heel of the neck. Uh, you can tie it off up here if you want. I prefer it down here. Um, then get a button put on the end. Uh, this particular model has an uh, output for electric uh, amplifier, so there is a, a little pickup on it. This is an Oscar Schmidt model. I don't know what it's called. I don't even know what the model is. But it uh, has the cutaway. Um, so you'll want to have a little button put on the end. Have somebody do that who is uh, accomplished at doing that so you don't crack the body. Okay? So you'll want a strap. Okay, now, I've had people ask me about can I put a low G on my baritone? Well, first of all, in the standard tuning, it already comes with a low string. The fourth string on the baritone is a low D. So as you uh, go up the, 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 the strings, you'll go to a G and a B and an E. Now, these two are typically wound. That means that there's a nylon core with a silver nickel, usually, winding of metal, very fine, around the core of the nylon. So there's you'll get a little squeak squeak from them. They're squeaky strings. But they make them wound so that they get that low tuning. If they weren't wound, they would. And if they were nylon, like these others, I'm using Aquila strings, they'd have to be ginormous dimensions. They wouldn't want that. So that's why they make them wound strings, the fourth and the third. Now that's standard baritone ukulele tuning. It always comes with a low fourth string. So you don't there's no uh, concern about changing out. Now, you can, however, purchase uh, standard tuning uh, GCEA strings for the baritone as well. And Aquila makes those and other companies make those strings for the, ukule for the baritone. Do not, and I repeat, do not try to put tenor strings on here. They will not work. Uh, you will end up breaking them. Uh, in fact, I don't think they're long enough to reach the scale length from the saddle all the way up to the to the uh, nut up here, the tuning pegs. So don't try to put any other strings on here. Only go with baritone strings. Now, if you put the standard tuning strings on here, you can play the standard chords as you would play on a standard <clears throat> concert tenor soprano ukulele. That's one of the advantages. Uh, I would say probably the only disadvantage is you don't quite get the low, mellow timbre that the baritone was essentially created for. So you don't get the, the true essence of the baritone. But that's one way around having to transpose from a chord chart all the chords for the baritone. By the way, Hal Leonard uh, with the Flea Market Music has a book out on baritone that has the chord charts in it, but has a few songs in there as well that you can work with. Another question I've had is, can you do the finger picking on the baritone as you do on any other ukulele? And yes, you can. It all works the same. Let's take one simple one here. I'm going to take a D chord. That's a D chord on a baritone. That's a G chord on a standard. And I'm going to put my thumb on the fourth string. Now, in finger picking, you want to keep your thumb um, relegated to the fourth and the third string. Fourth and third. The index finger plays the second string and the middle finger plays the first. So, for instance, in a simple 4-4 four, four arpeggio, I would go thumb, thumb, index, middle, in that order. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. Um, so it sounds like. Now go to G chord. Now 
back to D. A7. There's a simple arpeggio pattern in 4-4 time. Same exact fingering that you would do on a concert tenor standard soprano ukulele. Okay? Now, if I want to do that in 3-4 time, I would do this. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. That's one complete measure. I'll do that again. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, index, thumb. So one measure sounds like that's one measure. Now looping it together go to G chord A7 rather D rather excuse me I slipped into standard tuning there all right have fun with it and happy strumming